Hello and welcome. We're here today at AUSA 2023 with Fordham Technology CEO, John Gruen. Thanks, John, for spending some time with us today to talk about your no collateral counter UAS system that captures drones and brings them down with a net shot by another drone. Correct. So um, the first question is, we're here at AUSA and counter UAS is top of mind for the Army at this point. What are some of the develop developments you're seeing in this area that are driving the work you're doing at Fordham? Great. Thanks, Barry. Great to be with you here at AUSA. Sure. So we're really starting to see the maturation of the counter UAS market and the systems being deployed to counter the full range of threats. So I think it's important for everyone to understand that you know, counter UAS really does encompass everything from small drones that are operating at very low altitudes, mm -hmm. in larger numbers, in populated environments, in urban environments, all the way through the higher, bigger systems that are you know, up to the group three level systems that are flying higher altitudes, longer ranges, and carrying bigger payloads. So in order to defeat that range of threats, you really have to have a layered defense mm -hmm. system you know, that you're on the ground or that you're utilizing. And so we have always uh, looked at ourselves as being a primary system in the close in layer of counter UAS. Mm -hmm. So close in to your point of interest, close in from low altitude, so zero up to two kilometer altitude, uh, typically even a little bit lower than that from a truly effective range. And so really that bubble over your critical infrastructure mm -hmm or what you're trying to protect, that's what our systems are designed for. Very good, thank you. So we're here on your booth, here's a Drone Hunter. You have some new developments uh, to show off at the at AUSA. New radar, new command and control, tell us about those. Great, so we've been fortunate uh, through our development partners and DOD and other customers. We started out with our core technology being radars and small form factor, small size, weight and power radars. Mm -hmm. But that quickly took us in to the full uh, system level for uh, a counter UAS system. So that means if you use the JAD C2 model, you've got your sensors, you've got your C2, you've got your effectors, mm -hmm. and then you've got the network connecting it all together. Right. So we really have products in all of those areas. And so we've are rolling out advancements in all of those segments. So we've got the new R40 radar, which is our longest range radar to date. Mm -hmm. It is still the size uh, that you see up here of about a large laptop right. um, and has um, low power requirements. But because it's a um, AESA phase array radar, it's seeing hundreds of targets at a time, mm -hmm. and especially in urban clutter, in cluttered environments. Right. And, and, and so that really is a unique differentiator for us in the market. Then we have the new command and control system, uh, our SkyDome manager. So we've uh, taken the lessons learned from our work with DOD right. uh, partners, but also things like the Tokyo 20 Olympics, the World Cup mm -hmm. in uh, 2022, and made it uh, extremely user-friendly. Mm -hmm. So a uh, new graphical user interface, new ability to set rules, new ver uh, alerts and, and detection capabilities, and really just enables an operator to set the whole system to operate either fully autonomously right. or with some element of man in the loop. Mm -hmm. Very good, thanks, John. So last question is about um, uh, these technologies that you're developing, also the fast pace of innovation throughout the industry we're, we're seeing here at the show. So where is that taking the counter UAS market in the, say the near term? Uh, again, really trying to find which capabilities are gonna have the greatest effect against the largest number of threats. Mm -hmm. So when we talk the low collateral effect interceptor, we're talking you know, a subset of the threat range where our system, because it can be repurposed, reused, have different effectors put under it, it really offers a one solution to a large number mm -hmm. of threats. That is true of what needs to happen in the group three and group four and these other threat ranges. And so um, different, different effectors typically going into things like high powered microwave, or other uh, types of kinetic non-lethal uh, payloads, we'd call them, mm -hmm. but effectors. Sure. That's really in development, uh, as well as um, 
trying to figure out what's going to be the solution for higher, uh, larger drones, uh, larger group threes, and then what everyone knows is coming, which is swarming. Sure. And swarming of large number of drones, but not necessarily just the same size of drones. It can be group one through group threes right. all coming at you at any one time. Mm -hmm. So really that evolution is what uh, is front of mind of all the customers right now. Great. Well, thank you, John. Appreciate your insights and thank you for watching.